believe in me. Well, I was three, and uh, my granny was always into like country music and gospel. So um, we were in the car one day, and she played a Hank Williams song, I'm So Lonesome I Can Cry. And uh, from that day, she played it, and she noticed I was about upset. And she was like, what's wrong? And the song can relate to me because I'm, I'm lonesome. I was only three years old. My dad wouldn't let me outside to play, you know what I mean? So I don't have no friends. And, uh, and for some reason, I just wanted to sing it. I was like, I really want to sing that song. So she came, she gave me, she bought me a little MP3 player. And uh, in the space of an hour, I, ha I had the song done. And ever since that day, I was just playing every day for, for friends and family. And then I took it seriously. You ever see a night so long when time goes crawling by? The moon just went behind the clouds to hide his face and cry. You ever see? I took it seriously and went across to New York for the first time when I was 10. And uh, as we see the Chelsea Guitars video when I was in the guitar store. And that, that video actually all started because I was in the guitar store. And uh, the guy gave me a pick, a pick, a pick, and I was just here. And I had already got my guitar with me because I was getting it fixed. And uh, I said, I'll play you a song for it. And because he gave me the pledge, and the rest is captured on video. Just another day my Lord, my Lord has kept me. Yes, it is just another day that I've been in my Savior's care. Yes, it is. people happy man I saw I want to do like my first album or release was a gospel album and the reviews that I got like I, I touched so many people's life I just I never give me a better feeling than anything did so ever since I released that that's just all I want to do is just make people happy and I hope I'm doing it and I just want to I love it man it was brilliant and just being able to perform in front of people and just it's crazy man oh, Nashville's crazy crazy it's just it's completely different for me to come from a small, small town, to be here. Everybody knows everybody where I'm from, and to be here, it's, it's a lot different, but I'm loving it, man. It's just, it's made me feel welcome. It's just, this is, this is where I need to be. This is music say, you know what I mean? This is where I need to be. I love it, man. It's brilliant. Real? Tupac. <laughs> I listen to Tupac, but I also listen to a lot of Alison Krauss, you know, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, Brad Paisley. Uh, and I, to be honest, I listen to everything. Right now, I just listen to anything that's on the radio, and sounds good. <laughs> uh, I'm writing with Ken Wells tomorrow, finishing a good song. Uh, yeah, and then I'm performing. I'm opening up for Zach Brown Band in New York on the 30th. So that's good. I got a few big meetings, so I just hope they go well. What's up, guys? I'm Brendan McFarland, and you're watching JoeRilla.com. I got it that thing. I got it, I got it, I got it.